It's your boy, G Cornerman Boxing. I have the pleasure today, Mr. Ra Jose Rayo Valenzuela, 12-0, 8 knockouts. How you feeling today, man? Uh, pleasure to meet you, man. And I feel great, man, uh, here in New York at the Barclays Center, supporting my brother, you know, he'll be fighting Danny Garcia. Right, right. So you, you was born in Mexico, you fighting out of Seattle now. How much would you like to be fighting here one day, man? Oh, man, fighting at the Barclays, man, that's, you know... I think that's 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 a big uh, goal, you know. One day, you know, the Barclays is a big deal here in New York and Brooklyn. You know, it doesn't get better than this. Right now, you find the lightweight division one of the most stacked in boxing, man. You, you, seeing you in person, you're a pretty big lightweight, man. Uh, yeah. You know, say so how, how you feeling at this weight, and just you know, what's your thoughts on it? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I think I get that impression a lot. I think when people see me in the pictures, they see me around like David, his brother, and they they taller than me. But in person, you know, I'm a big 135, and and I feel good right now. Um, I'll get ready for my fight September 4th and everything going well. But right, overall, I, I feel well. I believe you're fighting Corrales for the WBC Continental title? No, no, no. Uh, I, I already have the WBC title. Oh, you won that already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, you, it might be on the line. I, I don't, I'm not sure, but I know we're fighting. He's ranked number two. Mm. So I'm very excited. You know, that'll put me in front of a lot of guys and, and give me more leverage to, you know, ask for the big fights. Right, right. So what are you looking forward to accomplish, man, within that next year, being that you already won the title? Um... Well, that, that, that's just uh, intercontinental, you right. know, I want a world title, you mm. know, uh, beating Corrales will set me up and put me number two uh, to possibly uh, fight Tank, Pitbull, or any of these top guys, you know, wow. and, and that's the goal, you know, I want to I wanna really uh, show everybody what I can do, my talent, my skills, and, you know, uh, just uh, keep winning. Right, what inspired you to become a fighter, man, because, you know, it's not for everybody. Uh, Once, I, 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 I just fighting a lot in school, in the streets, mm. in the, you know, in the neighborhood and stuff like that, so... My dad just wanted to take me to the gym. He told me, uh, he told me I can make a lot of money. You know, he took, told me I can make millions. Help my mom out the, you know, the struggle. So I never looked back, and you know, I'm still going. Right. Where was this that you were growing up, getting into fights and stuff? Uh, like the Seattle area. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 Seattle area, and uh, but boxing wasn't big out there. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I did what I could. I had like 50 amateur fights. Mm. It was 15, uh, 50 and five, and then that's how I met Senior, and uh, he took me in basically. They basically adopted me and uh, treated me like family ever since. Wow. How's that experience been like, you know, being around world champions like Benavidez and, you know, such a great team? Oh, it's a great experience, man. You know, I'm getting some experience that you can't buy. You know, a lot of these, uh, you know, I have an edge on fighters because I get to train with David Benavidez. I get to see behind the scenes, the press conference, behind, you know, the interview, you know, mm -hmm. so... So I'm a little, I'm a little ahead, you know. And when I come and do it, it feels a little easier. Right. What message would you have for other kids, you know, who, who may have been getting in trouble growing up to, you know, find something and stay out of trouble and be successful? Ah, uh, man, just you know, stay consistent. You know, stay consistent, stay consistent. You gotta, you gotta enjoy the, you gotta bathe yourself in the struggle. You know, you gotta enjoy it. You know, enjoy it while you're in there because, because it just makes a better story. You know, and that's exactly what I did. Like hard times, you know, you come home, the lights are off, stuff like that. But, you know, that's just motivational and, and just know it gets better. And, and when it does, it'll be bigger because you went through that. Right. Do you have any other fighters that inspired you other than Team Benavidez, you know, that, that, that you like to study and stuff like that? Yeah, of course, man. You know, uh, I grew up watching Manny Pacquiao, mm. Floyd, uh, Chavez, you know, and, and, and all these guys. Uh, guys. I grew up watching uh, Danny Garcia, too. So, you oh, know, wow. <laughs> all these guys, all these, all these guys, you know. I took a little bit from everybody. Nice, nice. You got any message for all your supporters, man? Everybody with you to this day? Uh, man, just keep following me, man. You know, uh, I want to thank everybody who has been supporting me. You know, just stay by my side. I promise you uh, we're going to get a world title soon. And hopefully I come uh, fight one day for my fans here in New York. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I wish you, you the best going forward and the rest of your career. Thank you. Nice to meet you.